Seven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome to Molly's Clubhouse. Won't you come on in? Welcome to Molly's Clubhouse. Let the fun begin. The fire safety dogs are here today. They love teaching fire safety in every way. Welcome to Molly's Clubhouse, won't you come on in? Won't you come on in? Live from the Clubhouse, here are your hosts, Firefighter Dana and Molly the Fire Safety Dog. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation's 246 Fire Safety Show. The Fire Safety Dogs and I have been live streaming since 2010, and now we have a brand new name for our show, Fire Safety Rocks. My name is Dana. I'm a retired volunteer firefighter, and I'm here along with my very good friend, Molly. Molly, would you like to wave hi to everybody? She says, Hello and welcome. We are coming to you live from Molly's Clubhouse in Clarksville, Arkansas. Whether you are watching us live right now or the playback later on, we are really glad that you are here. Molly is seven years old and has been helping me teach fire safety since she was nine weeks old. Molly is a Dalmatian and a real fire dog. She loves helping keep kids safe. Today, we are going to learn about firefighters and the special job they do. It's important to remember that firefighters are our friends. We are also going to show you how to make your very own firefighter helmet just like this. But first, Molly wanted to share a picture of her in her firefighter gear. How does she look? Do you know a firefighter? Is your mom, dad, or a friend a firefighter? One of the questions Molly gets asked the most is if she goes to fires. The answer is no. Do you know why? It is because it is the firefighter's job to go into buildings. Firefighters have been trained and have special gear to help keep them safe. Molly's job is also important because she shares fire safety and helps keep boys and girls just like you safe. By helping keep kids safe, she also helps keep the firefighters from having to go to too many fires. Molly, you have a pretty special job, don't you? See, yeah, I'm a pretty good girl. <laughs> Thank you. Well, we have a very special guest today. Are you ready to see who it is? Let's see who it is. It is our good friend, Firefighter Jeff. Hi, Jeff. He is going to share one of his favorite fire safety tips later. So, Molly, what do you say we learn more about firefighters? You want to? Are you ready? Okay, here we go. It is time to talk about firefighters and how important it is to recognize the firefighter as a helper and a friend. Many of you may have had a firefighter come to your school to talk about fire safety. That is just one of the many jobs that firefighters do. Firefighters help us stay safe. They know how to put out fires. Firefighters wear special clothes to keep them safe in a fire. They will come to help you. Firefighters are community helpers who provide safety for their community. A firefighter works for the fire department and can be a helper in many ways, such as putting out fires or educating people about fire safety and how to prevent fires. Now it is time for Firefighter Jeff to share his favorite fire safety tip. Take it away, Jeff. Remember, boys and girls, if you see someone dressed like me, they're a helper. So you should never hide from him or her. And always be fire safe. 
thank you, Firefighter Jeff. Molly, do you know what time it is? It is time to sing the firefighter song. Boys and girls, are you ready? Molly, are you ready? Okay, so I'll sing it first and then you can join in. So here we go. Firefighters, you are brave. Putting out the fires, lives you save. Very, very good. Didn't they do a good job, Molly? All right, let's sing it. What, Molly, what do you say we sing it a little bit differently this time? How would you like to sing it? Tell me. Oh, ah, slow, like a turtle. So here we go. Really, really slow. Can you do it? Firefighters, you are brave, putting out the fires, lives you save. Great job, boys and girls. Molly, wasn't that good? Do you want to give them a high paw? She says, great job. Okay, we sang it regular. We sang it really, really slow. How do you think, boys and girls, we should sing it next? What do you think? Fast? Did you hear that, Molly? They think we should sing it fast. Okay, put on your seatbelts. Buckle up. Let's go. Are you ready? Here we go. Firefighters, you are brave. Putting out fires. Lives you save. Great job, boys and girls. Molly, high paw. Woohoo! Wow, that was really fast. Now it is time for Guess That Sound. I'm going to play a special sound for you, and I want to see if you can guess what it is. Are you ready, boys and girls? Here we go. What do you think that is? What do you think it is? Let's play it one more time. If you guessed a firefighter sliding down a pole at the firehouse, you are right. <laughs> Good job. Now our friend Firefighter Bo from the Little Rock Fire Department has a special surprise for you. Take it away, Firefighter Bo. Okay, so today I want to show you these fire poles here at the Central Fire Station. Uh, they're three stories tall, um, and they lead from the bedrooms upstairs. And this here is the door in the bedroom that opens up, and you're at the top of the pole, so you can slide straight down into the engine room. And this right here is the top of the pole. Um, the way to slide these poles, uh, you don't just grab them with your hands and hang on with your hands. You'll actually uh, end up with a, a friction burn by doing that. So the way we slide the poles is to use our legs to slow our, our descent or, or be able to uh, uh, control our speed going down the pole uh, using our legs. Uh, there are actually some guys that can slide the pole without even hanging on with anything other than their legs. So you're looking down the pole hole now, and there's uh, that's actually truck one down in the engine room that you're looking at. And uh, in here, see what it looks like as you're coming down the pole? And this is what it looks like when we're coming down the pole. Wow, that was some fun. Thank you, Firefighter Bo, and thank you for the little to the Little Rock Fire Department for that awesome, awesome video. All right, let's have some fun. We are going to make a firefighter helmet today, just like this. So boys and girls, you can have a grown up help you. We made this out of a paper plate, didn't we, Molly? Be sure to have a grown up help you and be sure to send us your pictures at firesafetyrocks at gmail.com. Today, we are going to have some fun making your own firefighter helmet out of a paper plate. Are you ready, boys and girls? Let's get started. Here's what you will need to make your very own firefighter helmet. 
a yellow piece of construction paper, a paper plate, red paint, a sponge brush, scissors, tape or glue, and a marker. First, you want to take your plate, and grown-ups, if you get a heavy-duty plate, this project will go so much easier for you. Then you take your scissors, and boys and girls, if you need help, just get the grown-ups to help you. First, you want to cut out the shield. So there you go, cut out the shield with your scissors. And grown-ups, you can help adjust this hat for the size of your child's head. Next, it is time to paint your helmet. Pour out your red paint onto an extra paper plate. Dip your sponge brush into the paint. And then start to paint your helmet. You can paint your helmet on the front and the back if you would like. Now it is time to cut out your yellow shield. Take your scissors, and boys and girls, if you need help, just remember to ask a grown-up and cut out your yellow shield, just like this. Take your marker or markers and decorate your shield however you would like. You can make it really fancy or just simple, just like this. Attach your yellow shield to your helmet. You can either use glue or tape. Today, we are going to use glue. Take your glue stick and cover the back of your yellow shield. Attach your yellow shield to your helmet. Now we didn't wait because we were so excited, but we would suggest that you wait until your helmet dries. It will be a lot less messy that way. And there you have it, your very own fire helmet. Have fun boys and girls. And remember, firefighters are your friends and they're there to help you. Wasn't that fun? Molly, that was so much fun. And boys and girls, have your grown-ups take a picture of you with your fire helmet and send it to Molly at firesafetyrocks at gmail.com and we might show it on a future episode. We would love to see what you come up with. Now it's important to remember that firefighters are your friends and they are there to help you. Next time, we, we will be showing some of the special gear that firefighters wear to keep them safe, and you won't want to miss that special episode. On behalf of the Keep Kids Fire Safe Foundation, Molly the Fire Safety Dog, we would like to thank Firefighter Jeff, Firefighter Bo, all the donors who have helped make our fire safety programming possible, especially our Patreon supporters, Kelly and Felicia. And special thanks to our corporate partner, State Farm, for without their support, none of our fire safety programming would be possible. Thank you, State Farm. Take care, everyone, and stay safe.